Gladstone Trotter, presently residing at 368 Nelson Mandela House, Dockside Estate, Peckham. I think so, sir. Yes. I'll make this as brief as possible, Mr. Trotter. I realise how distressing this must be for you. Do you have any recollection of the accident? Very little, sir. One minute I was walking along, on my way to post my entry form with a critter factor. <laughs> uh, next, I was falling through the air. All my life flashed before me, battling the river plate, singing in the grass pee, uh, right on telemar. Oh, <laughs> Silence that now. Oh, that, it's all a blank. My memory keeps going, see? Have you ever suffered with amnesia before? I can't remember. <laughs> you can remember the war. After all, you have all your ribbons there to remind you. Where were you based, Mr. Trotter? Uh, I was overseas, sir. Really? How hard? I looked into your naval records and it seems that you spent the best part of the war stationed in a storage depot on the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Hardly overseas. You want to try walking it, pal. <laughs> I also noticed, Mr. Trotter, that in May 1944, you were one of several naval ratings seconded to a marine parachute unit specially formed for missions behind enemy lines. I believe you were involved in laundry matters. But whilst with this unit, you underwent basic parachute training. Would you tell the court what this <laughs> training consisted of? Jumping off the things. Jumping off. In other words, learning to fall without injuring oneself. My memory ain't what it used to be, Your Worship. I sympathise, Mr. Trotter, and I intend to help you as much as I can. Tell me, could you possibly be the same Albert Gladstone Trotter who, in 1946, fell down the cellar of the Victory Inn, Portsmouth, and received £100 compensation? I, I can't remember that far back, sir. Well, let's try a more recent case, then. Could you have been... The same Albert Gladstone Trotter, who in 1951 fell down the cellar of the coach and horses Peckham Rye, and received a £225 out of court settlement. In mine's a blank. <laughs> Maybe you were the same Albert Gladstone Trotter, who in 1949 fell down the cellar of the cross keys off licence Gravesend. How about the thatched inn Canning Town? Or does the Brunswick Club New Cross ring a bell? I don't believe it. It's a bloody nightmare, Rodney. It's a bloody nightmare. He's been down more holes than Tony Jacklin. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>